ikalabing unang higayon sa kaysaysayan sa Pilipinas, nakasun sa FIFA World Cup 2023 ang Philippine Women's Football Team. Usa kini kadakong kalampusan nga angayan nato nga pasigarbo isip mga Pilipino. Gani usas mga proud na proud ganila ang usa sa mga sikat og eksperto nga coach dini sa Pilipinas sa natad sa football nga si Hans Peter Smith ug karong buntaga ato siya mahinabi din lang sa GMA Regional TV Live. Ug makauban nato sa programa mga kapuso coach ni siya nga usa ni matuto sa pipila sa atong mga players nga milangkob sa Ato yung giday ng Philippine National Women's Football Team. Makauban tarong buntaga sa programa, ha Coach Hans Peter Smith. Good morning, Coach Hans. Welcome to the program, GMA Regional TV Live. We're glad to have you this morning, Coach. Thank you for having us, uh, having me. Thank you and good morning, my buntag sa iyong tanan. Uh, looking forward to this uh, talk. Daghang salamat, Coach, for joining us. First up, of course, Congratulations sa Philippine team and the four of the ladies from the LSU, mga students yung po, for securing the spot sa FIFA World Cup. Coach, can you give us an assessment about their performance in their last game? Well, ang unang-una, ang hindi kayang talunin talaga ng mga ibang bansa ay yung puso, yung puso ng mga babae natin. Uh, alam na natin yung record Nobody gave us a chance. Okay? Puro negative lahat yan kasi history yan. Tapos biglang katulad yung Ascals, yung Miracle in, in Hanoi. Mm -hmm. Tapos ngayon, yung women's natin ang pupunta sa World Cup. Mm -hmm. This is no mean feat. It's hindi ganyan kadali yung pupunta sa World Cup. Okay? Sa akin, okay, kahit ang wala akong pakilap ko nung sinabi ng women tao, sa akin, World Cup is the pinnacle. Ito yung pinaka uh, mm -hmm. highest, uh, how do you say, level that anyone would reach. And this is the dream. The dream of any football player in the world. Mm -hmm. Me and everybody else in the football community and hopefully the whole country should be very, very be proud of our girls. Kahit anong mga negativity na dinaanan mga tao. Coach Hans, what do you yeah. think will the challenges be that the team will be facing? A couple of months from now, before the, of course, the World Cup. Number one would be the players that will be released, mm -hmm. if they will be released. Kasi ang yung FIFA date mandate na pa-release ng mga players from the different clubs is, I don't know, it's not too far away from the World Cup. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mga, those who are playing the States are Division One players. Okay? And then plus the other youth that came from the youth from the under-14 and the under-16s that are joining the women seniors now. They had the first international cup here in this tournament in India. So, uh, that will be the, how do you say, the, the hardest thing for the coach. Because mm -hmm. there may mga players galing sa Europe uh, who's playing there uh, in Europe and, you know, sa schedules ng liga nila all over Europe. Kasi meron tayong mga players nandun eh, di ba? Meron din tayong players sa Japan. Okay. There are other players playing in other countries as well, professionally. Uh -huh. Yun ang unang-unang problema, magiging problema ng mga coaching staff. So what can we expect more sa larangan ng football dito sa Pilipinas, coach? Sa women, wala talagang program ang uh, federation natin para sa women. Wala. Sa coach, wala. Uh -huh. Kanya-kanya lang yan. Yung mga baga, for the love of football na ang ginagawa namin sa kanya-kanyang program. Mm -hmm. So ngayon, sana missing lahat mga tao, sana pumasok ang corporate world to support you know, the program, not just the national team. Kasi yun ang, yun ang elite. Eh. Being in a national team, that's the highest point that you can reach for any kid, for any girl, young girl to want to reach. It's not to play abroad, mm -hmm. play for the clubs, but to play for the national team. Okay. Iba ang pag nilalaro kinakanta yung national anthem abroad okay iba yung pride you know uh, ta ang taas ng ano ng uh, how do you say it shoots up everybody's uh, moral coach just to cap this off coach message po to the, our girls and of course mga football enthusiasts natin dito sa Pilipinas okay to to our girls who are in India right now you know what uh, we never lost hope we never lost uh, pride. 
then now that you have done so well to qualify, we even feel much, much more pride because of what you have done. Regardless of what your game result will come out in the semifinals and match for third, if there is a match for third, you know what? What you did to qualify for the World Cup, you are now embedded in the history of Philippine football. Support natin lahat. Okay? Thank you for this opportunity and, you know, hope to see you guys soon again. Coach, thank you so much for joining us and, of course, we're all very proud of our national team. Tugisgutan na kapuso ang atong kadaugan sa football. Kauban si Coach Hans Peter Smith. Salamat, Coach! Thank you. Thank you.